this is a five five G modules. Mm -hmm. As we all know that five uh, G consumer product mm -hmm. is super hot in China today. But on the other hand side is China is encouraging the vertical industrial applications. So these five G modules is the thing that in between our chipset mm -hmm. towards the industrial applications. So you see more than 10 modules here. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I, I'll give you a, a simple example. Okay. For example, uh, the cars we are driving today, mm -hmm. normally they don't have the communication capability. Okay. But if you the see, cars. yeah, the cars. Okay. But if you feature those modules, mm -hmm. then you, your car has the capability to connect to the 5G mm -hmm. network. 5G is the, the next brand new generation of the wireless uh, technology. Mm -hmm. Be besides of the speed, it also has a super low latency, which means the transition time is much lower than current LTE. So that or offers whatnot. the faster speed, right? Exactly, and also it offers the possibility to replace the cable network, for example, in the factories, because it has super low latency, yes. almost same as the cable connected. That's, Look at that. that's magic, right? Yeah. It's very tiny um, modem, but we, while this modem, it's not able to connect to with uh, 5G network. So all these modules, they featured with this modem, and also the ARF modules. Probably it's a little bit too tacky, but I would say that this is the heart yeah. of these modules. And also different... Let's closer look at this. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like a chip, right? I mean... I know, it, yeah, it is the chip. It's yeah. like super tiny. It's like a SIM card. <laughs> Even smaller. Um, I would say from, from the thickness wise, mm -hmm. probably it's thinner than a SIM card. So that's the, that's the reason why we can have so many 5G devices not available.